Welcome BVS viewers. We are here with another new episode today. So here we are at PH Cafe, which is one of the best restaurants in Chennai. So we're going to have a quick review here and see what PH Cafe is all about. So let's go. This PH Cafe is really very close to the Egmore railway station and it's located at Gandhi Irvin Road. With all the trees about 50 to 70 years old here at PH Cafe. So I'm right next to a bark which is like about 100 years old. So it was being cut down during the COVID situation. And since it's like about 100 years and very close to the PH Cafe um, people's heart. So it's here as an art at PH Cafe as well. So here we are with the owner of PH Cafe, Ms. Rashmi. So hi there Rashmi, so tell me all about this beautiful place please. Um, this is an old um, Kerala house from the British times and we converted it into a cafe to reflect our depth of art, music and culture. So we have an um, we have a bunch of artists. We have uh, we have workshops going on for artists, and we have for music. We do have a community called music community called on the streets. We started the community even before we started the cafe. Uh, we have more than two hundred musicians in the community, so they are, are always here. This is their home ground. They're always here jamming, performing. So if you're here, usually they're here on weekends. So if you're here on a weekend, you'll enjoy the music. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And um, what else? We wanted to preserve the architecture of the place and um, uh, we just redid the garden to make sure we can put in a few tables outside. And um, you know, uh, thankfully when the COVID happened, we could open out the cafe outside and the tables are socially distanced already. So we didn't have a problem that way. So we didn't have to change much or break anything or we really um, wanted to preserve the architecture of the place because it's more than it's it's about 70 years old now so wow. yeah i wanted to keep it that way okay i was about to ask you that i can really see that it's such a beautiful place here already Okay, Rashmi, so we're telling more about the place with the musicians coming in on weekends and then it's, it's more of a party on weekends especially. So how do you handle it? Like, I, I believe a lot of youngsters will be coming in uh, with this COVID situation going on. So it's all well and good over here. Yes, they are. Um, they have a stage. The musician space is kind of different. Uh, this, this whole thing is the musician space. Okay. So they are kind of uh, away from the crowd. The cafe, the uh, visitors to the cafe sit that side and the musicians sit this side and they take the stage. Okay. So they have their own space and they don't mix really. That's, that's beautiful. That's, you know? We have a lot of space so you know it, it's not, COVID doesn't affect us. We keep the social distancing. That's wonderful. I, I can actually see that being, you know, having everything organized here. So it's all growing great during the COVID situation, um, even in the COVID situation. So this is the stage where the musical band parties every weekend and we have this live band going on on the weekends, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays and right next to it we do have this huge uh, you know like a kind of a garden where there's banana trees, there's papaya trees and all that. So it's such a beautiful place with the musical band to which side we do have the garden here. to check because um, you were telling me this is like 70, uh, 70 years old building so uh, so how did you think of PH cafe so like you know organizing everything changing it into a restaurant changing it into an art cafe so uh, how did you get all those ideas we um, 
I'm an artist basically. So uh, we wanted to bring out that and, and we also had a music community. I mean, we started the music community. So, you know, the art and music went in together. And uh, we we're also into a lot of gardening. We are into organic um, uh, soil and uh, things like we make our own organic manure, things like this. All these things come together. And um, I mean, at one point we thought, okay, might as well, you know, start a cafe here uh, and you know put everything together and uh, the music started because we wanted to do something uh, we just wanted to play for the public which it was not uh, initially we were considered public nuisance because we don't have permission to play in public uh, uh, now we we have uh, grown to a stage where we have support from the corporation and the police and we have permissions from them to play in public so on the Rangnathan street when uh, uh, when the platform was put in uh, there were several bands playing there, so we started that. Okay, that's so that was all us. We have more than 200 people in the community, so it's more than like a band needs only about maximum of 10 people. So we have like 20 and 20 bands in the community itself. So here we are at the beautiful artistic room at PH Cafe. So as you can see, there are like beautiful arts. You can see the paintings of goddess and also some glass paintings over here. So it's all been painted by Rashmi. And so we also got some few, can you, uh, if you could see, there's also a few batches here and beautiful earrings, chains, and we've also got plenty of saris. So in case if you guys are gonna visit a PH Cafe, you all have to know because all these are for sale and you can just choose your best favorite paintings and I can assure you because all of these are beautiful here and I do visit at the artistic place at PH Cafe as well. So we play every weekend somewhere or the other so we wanted to take that to the streets and this was under construction that time so this was their home ground. So the art and music went in together and in a matter of months we could combine both and we do a lot of workshops here, we have psychology workshops, things like that keep uh, coming in. Uh, organic plants, fruits and vegetables that we use for our cooking. So all the limes, the bananas, the papayas that we use in our cooking are all organic. It's really beautiful, especially in the mid part of the city, having this beautiful organic place uh, with, you know, um, bananas and papayas. Uh, you know, you're taking everything from, especially from the garden. So it's such a beautiful thing, especially in the middle of the city. It's very hard to find a restaurant or a cafe this way. Um, so also wanted to check because uh, being a woman, women entrepreneur. So um, how is it? How, how are you handling things? It's it, it, honestly, it's not. Um, it's not very uh, gender based. It's just how you deal with situations. That, so it's more like, um, uh, more like your attitude as to how you deal with um, anybody who walks in. So uh, it has its own. Being a woman has its own advantages and disadvantages. But I would definitely say that uh, if you learn how to handle people or anybody who walks in, that that's pretty much it. So it's not really gender biased. for that and also Rashmi so I believe you're having a, such a busy day over here so I don't want to be interrupting you in the middle of anything so also I wanted to know like um, since you were saying there's more of those organic stuff uh, you've been using in the kitchen so what is that signature dish? We wouldn't we have never put things on the menu that we don't like so everything on the menu is what at least I like mm -hmm. so, so uh, I think all my menu has the best of what I like so, it, but it might not be best to the other person as well. So, when we give it to them, we give it to them, we ask them what they prefer. Okay. And that's how we present it to the guest. Or maybe I'll put it this way. So, what's the best selling dish here at the Selling dish, um, 
one thing is we make our own ice creams and brownies so it is um, it, it is one of the best in town our, both our ice creams and brownies and we have a ton of ice creams and our milkshakes are very thick so those are really good okay i really have to say this because i'm a huge fan of brownie and ice creams so i'm gonna have a taste of all that You're welcome to try <laughs> all right Okay, so we have come to the most important part. So it's going to be the food review. So come on, food is love. So I've just got like four uh, very good dishes over here. So the first is chicken fingers. It's one of the best starters in here. So they've given it some so yum, yum malicious sauce here. And also I've just got a vegetarian dish. If there are any vegetarian viewers over there, you have to have, uh, you know, you have to have this for sure because it's mushroom and cheese inside it. It's cheesy mushroom, uh, kind of like a roll. And also, I've got this creamy chicken, which is more of a creamy dish. So you guys have to go through this dish for sure because it's one of the uh, like important dish, one of the most famous dish out here in BH Cafe. And the most important part, what is the food without any trays? So I've just got this uh, uh, cold coffee, a chocolate cold coffee drink. So it tastes, which tastes more of like a co uh, cold coffee more than a chocolate uh, drink. So you guys have to have a drink of this as well. So apart from that, I've also ordered a brownie, which will be coming up right away. Okay, so first let me start with this stuffed cheesy mushroom here. So let me have a bite of this. So along with this uh, stuffed mushroom here, we also have this mayo, which is kind of like a red mayo. I guess it's with tomato sauce. Um, so I'll just have a bite of this here. It's too crispy on the outside and I have to say because a lot of people might think there's a lot of cheese so it might not be spicy and all that but it's like um, mildly spicy and also there's a lot of cheese and there's also mushroom such a good thing and also paired with mayo mm, it's just super yum already Okay, so here I have this veg fried rice here. Look at the color. It's so yum and delicious already. It's too hard for me to eat because it's so beautiful to see. Okay, let me have a quick bite of this. Mm. I'm sorry, it's tiny bit hot. Mm. Oh my god, but the spice over there up to the mark, but it's a bit hot and so I'm just sweating over here. So, and apart from that, the wedge fried rice, I'm just going to have a quick taste of it. Mm. Yes, oh my god, it's like so good already. This wedge fried rice as well as the McDreamy chicken here and so it's so yum and also I do have this um, Yamanishia's cold coffee come on who doesn't like coffee here so I'm just gonna have a quick taste of this cold coffee as well ah. who would say no to a coffee so it's so delicious here so yes we have a complete review of the food I would say it's a fire of fire because I do uh, like all the dishes here because it uh, balances the taste. There's also spice, there's also a bit of a tangy flavor in the sauces, and there's also Christmas up to the mark. And the veg fried rice, as well as the creamy chicken rice here, it's so yum with this uh, cheesy uh, sauce, it's, which is also great up to the mark. Thank you. Cheers. So right now I'm going to have a taste of this chicken fingers here. So paired with some tangy uh, spicy sauce. So I'll just have a bit of taste. Mm. I can say this sauce is like completely different from what I've tasted in other restaurants. It's tangy, it's spicy, it's super yum and paired with this chicken finger it's like it's heaven. It's heaven already for me. 
So here I have this dreamy chicken. Like I said, it's super McCreamy already there. So, oh my God, look at the cheese. super cheesy and paired with this I believe it's super spicy rice I almost have a taste of it as well mm. it's so yum I would rate it a 5 out of 5 this one because it's like completely different from what I've eaten from other restaurants a pair of cheesy chicken here and also a kind of like a uh, chicken fried rice over here it's super yum already thank you Wow, who would say no to a brownie with ice cream? Such a beautiful combination. And here they have different flavors of ice cream and different desserts for different occasions. As you can see, I've just ordered the usual brownie with ice cream with just chocolate sauce on top. And I would say the brownie was perfect it had the crispy a crispy layer on top with moist uh, layers inside so it was really very good i would say it was one of the best brownie with ice creams i've ever eaten in the recent times so do check out the brownie with ice cream as well wow look at this here so tell me all about this too Rashi. Uh, this is our um, uh, band for On The Streets. He's called Little Boy. He's to represent street music. So Chennai street music, more to Chennai. That's why it's got the Sema 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 there. So, and this represents, uh, you know, little boys, which which represents fun and, and uh, jovial nature and things like that. So this is our van that we did for Awesome Weekend. Awesome Weekend is something we do every year. It's, it's 50 shows, 5-0 across Chennai in two days, one weekend. So this was done for this year and we take him to shows everywhere, every weekend. Last weekend we did, it, uh, we, uh, did a show in VR Mall. It's already an art place. So we took him there and it was a blast. So that's pretty much about the little boy. Okay, so we are moving on to the final part of the review which is the overall rating for PH Cafe. So starting off with the interiors and ambience, I would say it's a 4.5 out of 5 with a beautiful outdoor seating arrangements and also the art gallery on the inside and we do have this on the streets of Chennai music band playing live on weekends. So the ambience is definitely a 4.5 out of 5. And even the reduction of 0.5 I would say is because of the mosquitoes. So it's outdoor seating so obviously there might be a bit of mosquitoes there but in case if they do have some sort of mosquito coil or so to reduce the number of mosquitoes it's definitely a 5 out of 5. And on the other hand the food 
so the food was really very delicious and also the desserts oh my god it was just awesome having that beautiful brownie uh, with ice cream so the food overall would be um, a four out of five and the service the service was really good the staffs over there were really very kind and uh, they were like giving out the dishes on time as well so i would say it's a 4.5 out of 5 as well uh, so the overall rating for ph cafe so i would say it would be a 4.3 out of 5 so people do visit ph cafe because it's a really very very good place to visit with all of your friends and family so do visit ph cafe and have some wonderful time over there Really nice talking to you. I was able to get a lot of information about PH Cafe and I hope all the viewers come to PH Cafe because it's one of the beautiful and organic, uh, you know, organic food restaurant here. So all please do come visit PH Cafe and especially with uh, Women's Day coming up, I do wish you a very happy Women's yeah, Day. Yeah, happy Women's Day too. And all the very best to you. Thank you. Right, thank you.